How do you too, having a glass of my homemade wine as it is after five o'clock, 7.54 p.m. my time. And I was saying to my YouTube trolls, thank you for sending me uh, cat food and tampons. The animal shelters appreciate that and all the homeless shelters appreciate that too. Thanks for helping support Casper in this time of need. Or Casper's business, I should say. It's like the third glass of that wine I've had in like two days. That's pretty fire mead, yo. We have a bacon melt, and uh, what is it called? Yeah, the bacon melt. Add tomato, add pickles, lettuce, and mayos. One shroom Swiss melt. Add two pieces of bacon, add caramelized onion, tomato, pickles, lettuce, and mayo. Subtotal is $23.86 with a $1.19 tax. Order 54 from Burger King. A mobile order customer, Josh Saunders. So let's see how they did. They got it taped up and everything. Mm. They gave us some napkins. I appreciate that. And the reason, the only reason why I didn't want marinara sauce with it is because it's already going to be messy enough. But that's all right. Oh, we got a bag of fast food. Let me just. Oh my God, that smells amazing. Okay. These mozzarella sticks are fresh in the wrapper. I'm liking that. They're nice and hot. We're going to save these for the fucking food hack. Let's just stack those up here for a test. Now, Burger King has come out with these new uh, melts. You already know what's up. And we got two different versions to try here. And I customized them a little bit for your sick entertainment. Which, hey, they gave me some marinara sauce, and that's all right if I feel the uh, option is. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add some mozzarella sticks to each one and just try it. Any, mini, miny, mo, catch a toe, but blah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little bit tipsy from the fucking video I just did, so we're, it's all good, though. Like, <laughs> any, mini, miny, mo, catch a troll by its toe, which one shall we do first? I don't think it fucking matters. Let's just do do that one first so melty oh yeah look at that these are the new burger king melts they've been out before but they re-released them i'm gonna pop the top oh look at that that's what's up how many of these mozzarella sticks can we fit on top we can fit three of them cheese sticks on there get the f oh you little man i'm spilling lettuce all over the place they make these uh melts with the junior patties so they're a little going to be a little thin, you know, lacking, snacking. But if you stack it like I did, look at that. Now that's a sandwich. Let's get into it. Both sandwiches got bacon. Hmm. Shout out to all the foodies out there on YouTube. Got a little chunk of mozzarella stick trying to come out of here. Like, nope, get over here. Burger King. Delicious. They're making it with the junior patties. So if you want to, like, stack it up to make it more filling, this is how you do it. I may end up saving a little bit of that second one for later, but I want to get you a food review, folks. And if you like the fast food reviews, subscribe for more content for your face. That charbroiled beef from Burger King is a classic taste. I'm liking this mushroom and Swiss food hack. Let's get it. Now, these melts don't come with all the extras that I added to it, but I figured it's YouTube. People want to see this right here. Mm. This is straight comfort food. You know, you're going to feel bad after eating this, but in a, such a naughty way. Shh. Burger King's new slogan is, you rule. 
course, their old slogan is have it your way, and I'm definitely having it my way. Life is a highway, I wanna ride it all night long. Dun, 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 dun. Didn't really see any bacon on the mushroom part, but that's all right. YouTube, we're gonna grab a napkin and kind of cleanse our lips and our fingertips. We're gonna food hack the other one and kind of save the rest for later after a couple of bites because I ain't gonna stun. I haven't been very hungry the last couple of days. So this will definitely fill my ass up. So I'm assuming this is the uh, bacon version. Oh, my arteries are singing a song right now. They're like, oh, oh. Shout out to all my foodies on YouTube, man. What you thinking? Have you tried the Burger King's patty melts yet? You know you want to bite YouTube. Look at that sexiness. It's like literally 10 o'clock my time. Like literally current time is 10, 16. I'm literally going to eat a couple bites of this and fucking pass out like a fucking <coughs> badass. Because holy shit. <coughs> mm, excuse me. My only complaint with this sandwich, though, is that they, they make it with the junior bait. Excuse me, the junior patties. But if you, like, smoke two of these to the face or even just one with some good side of fries, you know. Grab our second order of mozzarella cheese sticks. And we're going to stack it and snack it. Say it with me, folks. We stack in. Uh. We snack in. Look at that. Mozzarella cheese sticks on a burger from Burger King. YouTube. What the fuck is Cobra smoking? Okay. It does not come with the mayo or the veggies or the cheese sticks, but I, the way I see it, man, if you're going to fucking do it up, man, do it up. I said Burger King brought back their, uh, their patty melts. I don't remember the uh, bacon, excuse me, the uh, mushroom and... The shroom and Swiss, what the fuck do they call it? Yeah, shroom and Swiss melt. I don't remember that. Last time they had these. So it could be a new item. Not too bad they're not magic mushrooms. Anyways, YouTube. What do you think? Does this fast food item look simply decadent? Oh man, I'm dripping all over my desk, dude. Hold up. So we're going to try a couple bites of this bacon one, and we're going to save this one for later because I'm already starting to feel a little, little full here. And, uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Mozzarella cheese sticks with that melty goodness. Okay, so I'm going to take one more bite, and I want to save this for, like, lunch tomorrow because I'm already starting to feel a little bit full. No offense to anyone. After doing that fucking little food hack, I've got two mozzarella sticks left. No, oh, excuse me, I gotta blow my trolls a kiss because they can kiss my ass burgers. Oh, one second, YouTube. The amount of grease, my arteries are, they are singing a song of hallelujah, praise Satan, hallelujah, hallelujah. YouTube, getting those melts and stacking them with the veggies and some cheese sticks, it makes them a little bit thicker. So you're getting more bite for your buck. Uh, mm, excuse me, fuck. Uh, I literally just got done uploading an hour-long night this video. Well, I'm working on it anyways. Hmm. I'm gonna wash that down with a squizzle of this delicious adult beverage. Anyways, YouTube, those burgers are getting the Cobra seal of approval. And if you like the fast food hack reviews, hit the like, ring the bell, subscribe for more. I'll catch you cool Cobras later. And fuck the trolls.
What up, YouTube? It's your boy, King Cobra. So that video I made that was like four hours and 20 minutes long where I had my little freak out, I deleted it from my channel, but one of my asshole copycat channels saved it. And apparently I yelled at a female who was checking up on me, and I guess I might have made her cry. And if I did that, I want to sincerely apologize. People go out of their way to fuck with me all the time, and I'm always on the defensive because of it. Well, I don't even fucking remember what happened, you know? People are saying this and that, and honestly, I apologize for that. I'm loving my new dye job. This thing is sweet. One of my YouTube fans paid a little bit over a hundred dollars to have my hair professionally dyed by a salonist. And the gal who did it is phenomenal. The salon I went to is getting the Cobra seal of approval. Black and green, motherfucker. So Sam Hyde wants me to go on Fish Tank, and I'm totally down, maybe after the holidays, of course. But yeah, I want to, like I said, I want to apologize for, uh, if I did yell at some random female, the other day, I'd like to say I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to make you cry or hurt your feelers. But it's like, you know what? People see Cobra getting blackout drunk on camera, and they gotta fuck with him. And it's just like, dude, stop. This meat is so delicious. And, like, I, I did do a public apology for that video on my YouTube. But if I yell at anyone during that encounter, I'd also like to apologize for that. Do you know how it is when you get blackout drunk? Sometimes you're not aware of your actions, you know, you just, you know. And like I said on my uh, Making Some Life Choices video, I'm done getting blackout drunk on YouTube. If I get blackout drunk, it's going to be off camera, so nobody has to see it or witness it. And also, again, I want to apologize to all the people in my life who care about me, because all I did was make them go, go and get all concerned and all feelers for me, like... Oh, jeez. I haven't gotten blackout drunk on YouTube in God knows how long. And I was going live and feeling the vibes, you know, singing some Ozzy Osbourne, fucking just enjoying myself. And then I tripped and fell on me and ass of myself. And then subconsciously, I'm like, people see me as this amazing dude, so I expect myself to be perfect and to conduct myself with as much grace as possible, but I'm only human to a point, so you know how that goes. Long live Aussie motherfuckers. You might be from Wyoming if you met your future ex-wife at the rodeo. You might be from Wyoming if you've got more guns, trucks, and dogs than you do ex-girlfriends. If the only blowjob you're getting is when you step outside and the wind kicks your ass a little bit, you might be going through a dry spell, and you might be from Wyoming. It's like, welcome to Wyoming. If you spill your beer, we will hang you next to your fucking horse. And me, I'm not going to stop drinking. I'm like, no, you can all kiss my fucking ass. I am not going to stop drinking. AA can kiss my ass. One second, YouTube. I think I'm going to have to pour me another glass of that deliciousness. I tripped over the cord and knocked my microphone on the ground. Son of a bitch. Easy enough to fix. Generally speaking, when you look at your wine and you see that, that tiny little layer right there, that's how you know it's done. When it stops fermenting and making those delicious bubbles. <laughs> what would you do if I just chugged this entire thing? No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> yes. And I love making my own homemade hooch. And that's the thing of it, too. My family owns a ranch in this awesome state of Wyoming. And, yeah, you know, I've worked a couple days on on a ranch before, you know, but I don't go around acting like I'm some kind of, you know. I remember this one time I was at the grocery store and I had my get up on, my hat, my makeup, whatever. And there was this cowboy with his wife shopping. 
And he looked at me, and I looked at him, and he goes, that dude ain't no cowboy. And I said, bro, I'm not trying to be a cowboy. I'm autistic. And then I pointed out the fact that my family owns a ranch in Wyoming, and he immediately shut the fuck up. He was just like, oh, well, I'm sorry. God damn it, I would serve this at a bar. It's that fucking good. You know, if I had my own bar, I would definitely, uh, I'd make mead and I'd sell it at the bar. Sure would. Although I will say this, the weather for this time of year has been unusually warm, and I appreciate that. It'll give my Puff Puff a surviving chance, and I do hope I find Puff. I've been looking for him, man, and I just, I can't find him. If I don't find Puff, or if he ends up, you know, <coughs> you know, I'm going to be very depressed. It's like, if you like to smoke crystal meth, go drinking at the Beacon, and then you drive out to Bar None just to fuck someone's goat, you might be from Wyoming. If you like to fuck your sister, cousin, smoke crystal meth, watch NASCAR, and you voted for Trump, you might be a redneck. You know what I like to call the Southern Pride Flag? I call it the Incest Pride Flag. It ain't a laughing matter, dude. There are genuinely people out there who live in the Deep South who are severely inbred. I'm like, dude, if it's like the 1800s, and the roads are severely underdeveloped. And the nearest piece of ass is like 40 miles away. And getting to that person is a major pain in the ass. To some degree, I kind of get it. You know why they call it menopause? Because men will put their shit on pause. Honey, what's the matter? Good Lord, woman, that's you got a mustache thicker than mine. Are you one of them trans folks that CNN's raving about? And I'm like, let me tell you something, folks. Just because your dick no longer gets hard doesn't mean you gotta stop having fun. You take two jelly-filled donuts, and then you put a bacon cheese burger on top like you get a beef patty you put it on there then you, you melt some mozzarella cheese then you put it on top of the burger patty with some bacon and then you slap the top bun with like a little bit of mayonnaise and uh, dude stop now i tell you what though being single is awesome you don't gotta worry about checking out other girls because you know and it's like, man, you know your woman's going to look too. But if you're still fucking each other at the end of the day, it is what it is, dude. This one time I was dating a chick and uh, we were hanging out at the mall. And this smoking hot blonde came out of the mall. And the dress she was wearing was nothing but a strip down the back with little gaps of missing fabric going up. You could see almost her entire ass and i'm like i and I, you know that's the thing of it. i'm trying not to fucking stare but i'm looking over like oh jesus fucking h christ and uh as soon as she was out of the scene my girlfriend looked over at me and said that's a ridiculous dress ain't it and i'm like yes yes it is honey that dress is ridiculous and i'm like what do you want me to do i'm a guy sue me now, if you're going through a fucking dry spell and you haven't had sex in a minimum of four to six years, just give up. I'm like, as long as I don't have to have a construction crane to lift your ass up onto the bed, why the fuck am I complaining? Women of a certain caliber are easy to please, and I'll tell you why. Because one, they're not very attractive, so most guys aren't going to go for them. So they're going to do everything in their fucking power to keep that relationship. And two, they're easy to please because they're not used to being treated like a queen. Like, you want to simp shame guys? Well, guess what? Men can do it too. Yes, slut idolizing mediocre penis. Yeah, I said it. And I'm telling you right now, a dry spell ain't the worst. Could you imagine having kids or being in a shitty relationship? I'm serious. If you haven't had companionship in like four to six years, 
Just give up and do your own thing. I have not had sex in practically six years. And it's starting to, to suck a little bit. I ain't gonna lie, but that's some good homemade wine. Yes, sir. It'll get to a point where I'm like, you know, it'd be nice to have some of this for the morning or for the next day. So put it up, you know. I might have another glass of this and then put it up back in the in the in the closet, you know. I got all these fangirls that watch my videos religiously, and it's like, oh, if you only lived closer. I found a couple of fangirls be like, man, if I was in Casper Cobra, I'd totally end your dry spell. And I'm like, oh. It's like it's at your fingertips, but it's just out of fucking reach. And sometimes sex is more trouble than it's worth. You gotta deal with unwanted pregnancy and STIs and drama and... Guys, you're with me on this. Don't you fucking hate? Like, you just got done fucking your woman. And the first thing out of her mouth is, what you thinking about? Because your woman can say the craziest, stupidest, dumbest shit. And you look at her and go, what the fuck are you smoking? And then it's like, oh, wait a minute. If I argue with her, it's not going to get me anywhere. So, yes, dear, is the response. Yeah, I know I'm going through a dry spell. Only one getting a piece of ass around here is my fucking toilet. That kinky bastard loves being shit and pissed in. So, like, I went to Taco Bell and now I got the shits. And I'm like, here's Joshy. And then you got the fucking toilet. And it's like, oh, yeah, I shit and piss in my mouth, you dirty fuck. And it's like, excuse me? Like, Cobra, you think you're funny, but you're really not. And I'm like, oh, I'm fucking hilarious. With it being Christmas season, I am re releasing Cobra's crude Christmas carols. Deck the halls with my balls deep inside hollies of age pussy. Na 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 na. <laughs> Jizz the season to be a horny bastard. This is one of my grandpa's jokes. You're gonna love this shit. Everybody was at the Christmas party feeling joy and merry. So joy and merry left. Like, ho, 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 won't you touch my Yule log and jingle my bells? Suck on my chestnuts, you fucking Christmas cunt. <laughs> like, Cobra, you better watch your fucking mouth. That kind of talk's gonna get you on the naughty list. It's like, oh, jeez, I'm on Santa's naughty list. I guess I better cuck him and make sure his wife gives me a spanking. A friend with mead and weed is a friend indeed. Cheers, you fucking assholes. I'm glad we don't have any fucking snow in Wyoming right now because I fucking hate snow. I've been using my magic to keep the weather in Casper, Wyoming super warm for this time of year. Only for the sake of my fucking lizard. So if one of these days I go outside to smoke a cigarette, and I'm looking for him. I'll find him, hopefully. It's like, oh, look at that. That box I've had sitting on my uh, futon's gone. Because I got that box mailed off. That was a uh, that was a little bit of Christmas present for family members. And we're going to leave it at that. I need to make some more wands. I got a couple of dowels I can turn into wands yet. So I got some more wand wood. And I got some more shipping tubes. So tomorrow, or the course of the next couple of days, I'll have to make some more wands for my Etsy. I made so much goddamn money this month doing live streams. That all of that's going to go towards late Christmas gifts, etc., etc. I'd love to win the lottery, but realistically, that's a one in a million shot, you know. I got a better chance of becoming lottery rich just doing my thing on youtube Ooh, i'm starting to catch a little buzz youtube look out half a jar yeah let's save this for later i don't want to drink this whole thing on camera jesus fucking christ go ahead and put the strong stuff up and save that for a rainy day man grab ourselves one of these and i still got some left in my glass to kick ass so there you go oh, fuck. That 18% is definitely starting to kick in a little bit. I'm starting to feel the feeling that makes alcohol so worth it. 
A tree star. Ah, he made a land before time reference. It's like, if you don't know what land before time is, you're probably too young for me. Three horns do not play with long necks. That's some good homemade mead. People are like, Cobra, quit responding to your YouTube trolls. And I'm like, don't tell me how to handle these immature retards. There's a method to my madness and it works. They've sent me like wood chips from the tractor supply company here in town. They sent me tampons and cat food and I'm like, well, we can donate the cat food to the local animal shelters to help feed sheltered cats and then donate the tampons to like the women's homeless shelter. Anyways, YouTube, doggone it, I hate to leave you with it. On a side note, I'm loving the dye job on my hair. It's all black all around except for the tips on my ponytail, which are green, which you can see right there. I do have a video of me getting my hair dyed at the salon in question. It's not very long, but it's like halfway through the process where you see my hair is black and then like the blonde is being added so you can apply the green. And if you want to see that video of me at the salon getting my hair dyed, hit the like button and subscribe for more and maybe I'll upload it. And the trolls are like, get a job, Cobra. And I'm like, bitch, I have a job. I'm a famous fucking YouTuber. And when you start to get like 80 plus thousand subscribers, you're a little bit famous, you know. But yeah, I want to drink the rest of that wine in my glass and slam this beer. Bush light peach. It's delicious. It's cheap. And, uh, and uh, I'm starting to feel a little bit buzzed, so I'm good on the booze for a moment. You can have a couple drinks and bullshit with you two without stumbling all over the place and having fucking cops show up to your apartment. And apparently I made some poor girl cry in that video and I don't even fucking remember all of what happened on that on Saturday's video and like I said at the beginning of this video man if I made some poor girl cry I'd like to apologize for it had I been a bit more sober I would have been like Oh, hey, you know, and I think it wasn't her fault necessarily. I think I was just mad because the cops got called on me and I was clearly fine. Like when I fucking fell over in my blackout drunk video, you could hear me snoring. Like, oh, he's conked out for a minute. And then I wake up like, oh, shit, sorry, my bad. Hey, hey, you fuckers. This video has been like an hour long, so I'm going to have to leave you with it.